Projects are used to group together work orders and schedule maintenance, so they're accessible in the same place. You can kind of think of them as folders on your desktop that you add work orders and schedule maintenance to, and then when you open it up, it's all in the same location. So to create a project, I'll head over to maintenance and click projects on the left menu. I already have two here, and I'm gonna add a third project by clicking new at the top. So I'll call this project end of year refit, and I can fill in a short description here if I want. I can also set projected start and end dates and actual start and end dates uh, when the project commences. Okay, so to add a schedule maintenance or work order to this, I don't actually do it from inside the project. You'll notice there's no little plus button here at the bottom like you'd expect. Uh, to add something to a project, I have to go to the work order or schedule maintenance. So as an example, I'll pick um, a work order for my CNC machine, replace damaged blade. And let's say I've postponed this to the end of the year. I'm putting it off until I do my refit. So what I'll do is I'll select the project end of year refit and click save. And this alone adds it to the project. Okay, so because I'm postponing this till the end of the year, I'll probably also do something like change the work order status from work in progress to some kind of pending status. So pending refit is a status I have here. I click save. Okay, so changing the status just removes it from, um, from being assigned to people for a moment. So I've added it to my end of year refit project. For a schedule maintenance, uh, it's pretty much the same procedure. I open up a schedule maintenance and I can add it to a project here. So I'll add this one as well to the end of year refit. Okay, it's actually pretty straightforward. There's nothing too complicated about projects. I'll open up the end of year refit, the end of year refit, and I've got the schedule maintenance added. I also have the work order added. Okay, um, if I wanted to delete one of these work orders, or rather remove it from the project, I just hover over and click the trash can. When it says, are you sure you want to delete this record? What this does is it doesn't actually delete the work order, it just removes it from the project. Okay, so the work order will still be present in the system, it just won't be attached to the project anymore. That's an important distinction. Okay, so I remove it from the project. It's also worth pointing out that work orders that are generated from schedule maintenance that are attached to projects. So for instance, I've got this schedule maintenance for a milling station, and any work orders generated from this schedule maintenance will also be attached to this project and show up under here.